hello hello good evening good morning good afternoon whichever part of the world you're in welcome back to adonai's kingdom the place we we go in deep in about the kingdom of god the ways of god the way the holy spirit guides us the way we are being taught on daily basis being instructed by the holy spirit we believe in being instructed by the holy spirit in adonai's kingdom not instructions from man whatever the guidance come and we spread it all of us welcome back and my name is uh, waudi the messenger let's start with a word of prayer Father, thank you and bless you and honor you. I thank you for this wonderful day, lovely week, lovely month. Even though people, some people are complaining of the economy in your kingdom, there is nothing like economy going down. You are always taking care of your children. I bless you and I honor you. We lift up your name, O Jehovah. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Take control of this message. Use me as usual, as an oracle of your word. And bless each and every person who's listening to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Well, guys, here we are again. Last week we talked about, uh, we were talking about Deborah, the prophetess, how she led the Israelites so that she could uh, they could take back their country from from the people who were persecuting them, and about the leadership. It was all about leadership and the anointing of women. And today, let's carry on the, on the same topic, but this time it's like uh, we can say. Deborah and Barak won after winning the war, after helping the Israelites, Israel and Judah. What did they do? They sang songs unto the Most High God and they praised Him continually. So the title of today is Song of Deborah, Blessing God. Song of Deborah, Blessing God. And that comes in Judges chapter number 5. Okay. Let me just go with you through it quickly. Chapter 5. It's got 31 verses. The song of Deborah and Barak. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abi Noam, on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord for the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will, I will sing praise to the Lord, of, the Lord God of Israel. Verse 4. Lord, when thou wentest out of Sei, when thou marchest out of the field of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens dropped, and the clouds also dropped water. The mountains melted from before this Lord, even that Sinai, Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. Verse 6, in the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the highways were unoccupied, and the travelers walked through byways. Okay, that's verse 1 up to verse 6. Let's see what the Holy Spirit tells us about that. What God is trying to tell us. You see, in uh, verse 1, Deborah sang and Barak the son of Abinam, Abinoam on that day saying, Praise the Lord for the, for the avenging of Israel when the people willingly offered themselves. Here you see they are praising the Lord. 
remembering the good things that the Lord has do had done for them. And you'll notice here that uh, always try, whenever God does anything for you, praise Him. Just praise the Lord. Give Him praises on and on. Don't, don't mind about people. You see, these praises, it comes from on all aspects. If we go to Exodus, the book of Exodus chapter 15 and verse 20 to 21, this is what Miriam was doing. Chapter, five, chapter 15 verse 20 to 21. Then Miriam, the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women followed her with tambourines dancing. Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he, has, he is highly exalted, the horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. See, they won, so they had to sing unto the Lord, who had, I mean, it's okay to praise the Lord every single time you win. Give, I mean, show it. Don't be shy. In the book of 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 18, chapter 18 and verse 7, 1 Samuel chapter 18 and verse 7, as they danced, they sang, Saul was, has slain his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. They were singing and praising the Most High God for what God had done for them. So, that's in the first, these first four verses, it's telling us about praising God giving him thanks and praises each and every day whenever you feel that you succeeded god has blessed you just sing praises to him sing hymns don't worry sing sing like you'll never sing again praise him always okay if we uh, verse number <clears throat> six in the days of Shamgar, the son of Anath, in the days of Jael, the, the highways were unoccupied and the travelers walked through byways. The inhabitants of the villages ceased and they ceased in Israel until that, day, that I, Deborah, arose, that I arose, I arose a mother in Israel. You see, here we are when things are bad in a nation things are tough you see deborah is talking about how things were tough in the highways people were i mean everything was in shambles that's when god decided i'll choose a new leader and he chose deborah god chooses a new leaders when War comes in a country and diseases, disease and plagues plunder the cities. He will choose new leaders at his own timing. You might say that your country, wherever you are, your village, I mean your county, your town, your city, things are bad. But God has got his own timing for choosing his leaders. And the leaders that God is going to choose will surprise everyone, each and every person. You know, as guys, we can decide that he or she will be our leader. But God knows who to choose. Even when I see in some places, in most countries, people say, this one is God-fearing. God has chosen him. So you find people going to pray for him. The other group are saying, this one is the one God has chosen. So you find people going to pray to their opposition person. So it's like, I'm sure God sits on his throne wondering, what's wrong with these children of mine? They're fighting over leaders. It is God who has the final say, not man. You can decide, you can decide, you can see that 
you've got all the popularity to lead a, a company, a farm, a country, an industry, but God has the final say. Mm. So, you find also in this part where the land was full of anarchy, and that's when Satan comes in. He wants you to ignore, because of the problems, he wants you to forget about God. But, brothers and sisters, don't ever put down the Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 to 18. You know your warfare of faith, where Paul told you, says about the warfare. Let me just jump there quickly, so that at least you have an idea. For those who don't know, in a Ephesians, in the book of, of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12 to 18, chapter 6 and verse 12 to 18 mm. Christians are being told for our struggle is not against flesh or blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of the of this dark world against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms therefore put on the full armor of God this is what I'm trying to tell you as a Christian put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, when chaos, plagues hit the country, you may be able to stand your ground. And after, after you have done everything to stand, stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. We are talking about truth, righteousness, and with your feet fitted, with the readiness that comes with the gospel of peace, truth, righteousness, peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the, arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the, sw the sword of the spirit. Never forget the spirit. The spirit has to be with you, which is the word of God. That spirit is the word of God. And pray in the spirit in all occasions. That's verse 18. Pray in the spirit in all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. You see, Paul says it. Keep on praying for all, all the saints. These are the, the things that I mean, we are trying to be told. We are being told Ephesians 6 chapter chapter 6 verse 12 to 18 always have faith in God always and always never ever look back if we go back to uh, the book of Daniel Daniel chapter 2 and verse uh, 20 to 21 Daniel 2, 20, 21, and said, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are His. He changes times and seasons. He sets up kings and disposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals the deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells in Him. Daniel also tells us, just keep staying in the word, the word of God, the holy word of Israel. In Proverbs chapter number 21, verse 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. He directs it with a water course, which he, which, wherever he pleases. So it's all about leadership this leadership comes from god everything comes from it comes from god okay after praising and war in verse 10 
Mm, yeah, Deborah kept, kept on saying, Speak, ye that ride in white asses, ye that sit in judgment and walk by the way. 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of the of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Verse 10 and 11, it's very interesting. It's a prophecy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. It's a prophecy of the Messiah entering Jerusalem with the donkey. Yeshua entering Jerusalem with the donkey. This is spiritual, meaning fulfilling the role of the burden of the beast, taking the responsibility, the burden of others. Speak as we commanded. Tell of the greatness of Yahweh. All this that Deborah is saying, verse 10 to 11, if you jump it goes, it tell, takes us to, it takes us to Matthew. It takes us to Matthew. Everything here is prophetic, spiritual. If you keep your heart in it, revelations will keep on coming. Matthew chapter 5 verse, yeah, it's uh, Ma Matthew 5. This is. Mm, he when he, Jesus was talking to <coughs> he was talking to the I mean it, it's in John sorry guys John in the book of John chapter 4 and say from verse 3 going all the way down in fact from verse 4 5 say verse 5 he went where jesus went to samaria near the plot of the ground of jacob where the ground jacob had given to his son joseph and Je jacob's well was there and jesus was tired and he was from the journey he sat down by the well and it was the sixth hour so from that, there, uh, all the way to verse 30, it talks about the well. Jesus went to the well, found the this lady, the Samaritan woman, and he started talking to her. He needed water to drink at the well. And what did, after, later on, what did the woman do? The woman had to go all the way to the village to preach the gospel come and see the man who told me each and everything that's where you we are being told in verse here in verse 9 of judges i mean verse 10 and 11 speak ye that ride in white asses that sit in judgment that ride in the white donkeys that's Jesus riding in the donkey in the ass and sitting on his judgment and also walk by. And also they say, they that are delivered from the noise of archers and in the places of drawing water, they are delivered from the archers. This Samaritan woman, they were believed to be, um, it was a group of, they were not Jews. So they are taken as they don't believe in God, but they were taken from the places of drawing water. She was in the well. There they shall rehearse the righteous acts. This is where Jesus talked to her about the righteousness of the kingdom of Adonai. And even the righteous acts towards, so she had to rush towards the inhabitants of the villages in Israel and tell them about the gospel of the kingdom so you see in verse 11 christ said i am the door for the old 
for the old tabernacle it was the gate Yeshua delivers everywhere see the woman at the well everything so in uh, Deborah 5 if we jump over to from verse 15 we are being told and the princess of Issachar were with Deborah even Issachar and also Barak he was sent on foot in the valley see Issachar when God is attacking he places people speci in specific play angles whereby he knows whom to use children of Issachar we are no we know them in first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse uh, 32 the men of Issachar were people of understand they understood the times the children of Issachar understood understood the times and of God and used them God used them they had the unusual gift of seas in seasons of influence so Deborah had to use them and God had to place the children of Issachar so God's plans are always articulate he knows who to bring he won't just bring anybody just like us human beings we can choose anybody to come and help us out but the best thing before you choose anybody seek God talk to God let the Holy Spirit guide you on how to go about it whom to choose and how to succeed in it verse 16 and 17 let's see why abodest thou among the sheepfold for to hear the bleating of the flocks for the divisions of Reuben there were great searchings of the heart still Deborah is still singing Gilead abode beyond Jordan and why did Dan remain in ships? Asha continued in the seashore and abode in the beaches, breaches. Here, if you compare with our world, we are being told people, some people were aside while the Israelites were fighting, instead of fighting with them. In our world, many pastors are concentrating so much in the church, yet there is a bigger battle raging outside of the church, of the church walls. But you stick to your safe sanctuary, preaching the kingdom to the people who have got the kingdom. Try your best, even if he's talking to somebody outside there. That, that's why I keep, I pre, sometimes for me individually, I like using Adonai's kingdom because I know you are there in your car. You never go to church. You've never heard of God. You've never heard of Yeshua HaMashiach, the Holy One of Israel, the goodness of the kingdom. You've never heard anything about it. That's why I, I keep on pushing, pushing every day. And I tell people to subscribe and spread so that we can push and people will listen at least one day they'll come to realize Jesus is Lord so we have to keep on pushing and pushing the kingdom of God on while we are still there if we look at uh, Luke chapter 9 and verse 2 we are told and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and heal the sick that's what Jesus did to his disciples. Out. Let's go out. Let's focus on outside. outside. People are desperate outside. Not inside the church. People are desperate outside in the world. And you'll be so surprised when you f just try to talk to people outside. And you see how hungry they are for the word of God. In Matthew chapter 4. And verse 17, we are being told here, From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. And always, Yeshua was preaching outside, mostly to the people. Let's try to spread the message. That's what Deborah here sang. And if, uh, let's see, verse 18, Zebulun and Naphtali 
were a people that jeoparded their lives unto death in the high places of the field. You see, Zebulam and Naphtali, they really fought for the Israelites in the fields. People are risking their lives for the kingdom of God. What are you doing as a believer? Help out. Go out there. Strive. Talk about the kingdom. In verse 19 to 23, uh, 19 to 23, the kings came and fought. Then fought the kings of Canaan in, in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven and the stars in their courses fought against his era. You see, God here used the stars against the enemies, against the Canaanites. The rivers of Kishom swept them away. That ancient river, the river of Kishom, oh my soul, thou hast trodden down the strength. In Deborah's song, she praises how God used the rivers to finish all these people. The battle was fought from the heavens torrents rain ray of rain swept the enemies away so god blessed them and in verse 23 cast ye meros said the angel of the lord cast ye bitterly the inhabitants thereof because they came not to help the lord with the help of the lord against the mighty cast this i'll finish with this cast you be says the lord in verse 23 you'll be cast if you don't fight for the kingdom just go try your bit do your part and say lord i tried my best and if you try your best god will will add you more that's all i can say just spread the word do your part Sus subscribe spread share share the videos talk to people just if you can if you can't face them outside there just post just share adonai's kingdom and the holy one of israel won't let you down in yeshua's mighty name amen and amen if you are there you don't know anything about Christ. You, you've never heard anything about Jesus Christ, the kingdom of God, Adonai, Yahweh, all the goodness of the kingdom. And you want to be part and parcel of this kingdom. Just say this prayer after me. Father Lord, I come before you as a sinner. I've sinned against you and against the world. Against all my relatives, I've been a bad person, filthy to the core. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. He died and on the third day he rose again. He shed his blood for me. He rose again. And I believe in everything that is in the holy book about Jesus, about the kingdom. Accept me in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you say that prayer, You've been welcome. The angels are happy. Celebrations in heaven. It's a celebration time. Everyone is enjoying. Even me, I'm happy for you. May the Holy One bless you mightily. Start reading the Bible. Join a church near you. Get in touch with Christians. They'll walk you the walk. You'll talk the walk and everything. And you'll never regret. And Father, I pray for my viewers. Bless them. Protect them. Guide them. Let them know how to praise you when you bless them. Let them know how to sing for you, talk about you each and every time. Let them know how to move with the Holy Spirit. Father, bless each and every one of them, O oh Father. Give them the courage and the boldness to spread the kingdom, the word of the kingdom. Let them use Adonai's kingdom. If they don't have that guts, let them spread and share each and everywhere. Let them just talk about the kingdom of God and bless each and every one of them. In Yeshua's mighty name, amen and amen.
God bless you guys. God bless you mightily in Yeshua's mighty name. See you next time. Shalom and peace. Amen and amen.